Hey everybody, welcome into another edition of the Territory Talk Podcast. Doug Plagans, Jameson Olive here with you, joined by a special guest, and of course, the Territory Talk Podcast, presented as always by Baptist Health, the official sports medicine provider of the Florida Panthers. Joining us here today on Territory Talk, Panthers center Anton Lundell, Stanley Cup champion Anton Lundell. Anton, how are you this morning? Thanks for stopping by. And I know it's been a couple of months here, You're coming up on the two-month anniversary, but how does it feel to be known as Stanley Cup champion Anton Lundell? It still feels good. Uh, it's something you you slowly start to understand what's, what, what we did and what happened. But it's been uh, an awesome summer. I, I, have, I have had a blast. And to be able to spend and share uh, a lot of moments with my friends and family has been awesome this summer and Lundy kind of looking back at that run before we start looking at the summer take a quick look back at that epic playoff run you guys had now that you've had about two months to kind of marinate kind of think about it is there one or two moments from that run of other than obviously lifting the cup that really kind of stand out for you oh I I don't know we had so many good memories from the from the whole season and the, the playoff run but I don't know. Probably some some of the biggest games, you know, uh, Game Six, Boston, or Game Six, uh, Rangers, Game Seven, of course, that was awesome. But I think the most important thing for me was just the moments we got to spend with the team, all the ups and downs, all the pressure. Uh, I don't know. We we really enjoyed the whole two months we had and. I feel like we we kind of wish it would have just kept going. I know it's awesome to win, but we got so many good memories and close friendships from, from that run. And you talk about pressure. Can you take us in the room for Game 7, whether it's before the game or during the game, obviously one of the biggest games in NHL history. Just how did you guys manage that? I mean, that's something you dream of since you start playing, you, you go playing outdoor hockey and you, you think it's game seven or you have a big game and you, I don't know, you dream that you're going to play one day your biggest game of your life and there it was. Uh, but about pressure, I feel like before that game, we had le least pressure of all of those uh, clinching game games we had in the finals. So game four, five and six, I feel like we had a little more pressure. We wanted it so bad. It kind of got in our heads and we started to think a little bit forward. Uh, even if you you shouldn't, it's, it's hard not to. But we talked with the team and we kind of like reset everything and just went out there to play one game. And whatever the, the score is, we, we're going to be proud how we played. And I feel that feel like that that was the way we got the best out of us and anton we've talked about it with you a lot over the years because for a young guy you've played so many big games already and you played more playoff games than anybody else in your draft class so you've gotten a lot of great experience at a young age we asked you during the run how you felt like your game was growing but now that you've now that you've lifted the stanley cup now that you've been a part of this group how do you feel like that experience continued your growth as a player? Because you've experienced so much at such a young age, and this is all going to be experience that's going to continue, I'd imagine, to, to benefit you as you go throughout your career. Yeah. Uh, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been awesome few years. Uh, but I don't know. Everything has happened so fast. I I got drafted and um, then my dream was to make the team and I, I made it. And then we made the playoffs and went to the cup final last year and this year we won. So it's just been a crazy, crazy three years for me. And I don't know. I'm, I've just tried to, to learn every day something and become a better player and a better person every day and that's something i i want to keep doing and i know as you said i'm i'm still young and i'm i got so much more to to give and show so i want to become a better player and better leader 
everything, you know. Uh, but at the same time, I every moment, every year, the playoff run has teach me so much. Uh, I've been able to see how how it is and what it really takes to actually win a Stanley Cup now. So I feel like that's going to be something I, I will bring me forever with me. And Anton, you talk about, you know, growing and learning. You're going to have a lot of time to do that here with the Panthers. You signed that six-year contract extension. You now look at the guys with those long contracts yourself, Sam Reinhart, you know, Kachuk, Barkov, the list goes on. Just what does it mean to be a part of that core now for the Panthers for the foreseeable future? And just what did it feel like to sign the first real big deal of your career? It was awesome. Uh, I I never had a doubt we we couldn't make agreement, and I never even thought playing anywhere else. I wanted to stay in Florida. Uh, I told the team that I want to be here. I want to play here, uh, and we got it done. So I was I was really happy to to be able to to stay in Florida, which has become my home since day. This is uh, year one, so couldn't be more excited to to keep building what we have the last three years. And that's the most exciting part for me. I've been able to help the team and bring be a part of what we've be, been building the last three years I've been here. And I mean, it, it brought us to the Stanley Cup, so I, I, don't, I don't think it could have gone any better but um i hope we were able to build something big here and i'm really excited to for the future years and then obviously congratulations on on getting that extension and i'm sure you received a, a lot of congratulations when you went through your day with the cup and we saw some pictures but how did you celebrate back home and and what was it like being able to share the stanley cup with not only uh, your friends and family, but with hockey fans there in Finland, because we've seen a lot of the photo photos, whether it was with you or or you know elsewhere, as the cup made its way around Finland, and it seems like uh, everybody was just so excited to see it. Yeah, it's it's not that uh, common to get the Stanley Cup to Finland first first all all, but to be able to. To bring the cup home where everything started, it's it was awesome. It was a day me and my family and friends, and hopefully all the fans will remember the rest of their lives. But to see so many people wanting to to be a part of my day was was really special. I I saw a lot of young young players, uh, boys and girls who plays hockey, and overall. So many people wanted to come see the cup. It was it was really special and kind of weird to to actually be like the the guy everybody comes to to see. But uh, we had a blast. The day went so fast, but we got a lot of memories and we were able to do a lot. So I'm really happy about that. Lundy, speaking of the guy, you guys got to meet the guy in Finland before the cup even got there. You guys got to go hang out with the president of Finland, you, Mikola, Barky, Lusti. What was that like? And what was it like when you got the call that, you know, hey, the president wants to come see you? Yeah, that's, as I said, like, it's been a busy summer. A lot has, has happened. But that was one of, one super cool moment as well. Uh, first off, when we won in, in Florida game seven, he actually called us after the game. Uh, so we, we all, all the Finns went to the, to the gym where it was a little bit more quiet while the celebration was going on in the locker room. So we, we talked to him for, I don't know, a few minutes and he invited us uh, uh, at that moment to, to meet us during the summer. But to be able to go to the to his house, president's house was really special, and to be able to to hear the stories and and actually meet him was super cool, and and it's something every every Finn uh, kind of dreams of as well. Well, on that note, I mean, how how big we've talked about it before, and we know it. Jameson has the ability to see where people are listening to Territory Talk all around the globe. Uh, our podcast is pretty popular over there in Finland, but for, for you guys, 
Do you get a sense that the the Panthers are are kind of the favorite team over there in Finland? How big are the Panthers over there in Finland, especially now that you guys have won the Stanley Cup and you guys are so well represented, uh, you know, with Finnish players up and down the lineup? I hope we're the the favorites in Finland. I, if not, we need to try to play even more, even better to to make it happen. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're we're up there in the list. Uh, one of the favorite teams in in Finland, uh, of course, Barkis, uh, Barkis, uh, like career with the Panthers has helped. That case a lot, you know. He's a big, big uh, role model for for all of the young, upcoming hockey players. So overall, it's been awesome. We have four players now from different cities, so that's uh, that's a cool thing to uh, kind of. I hope every every city where we're from uh, cheers for us. But at the same time. Uh, in October, when we come to to Finland, it's gonna be awesome to to see how many fans will be wearing Panthers jerseys and cheering for us. And Lundy, talk about all the different Finns on this team. Uh, one of them, a good friend of yours, Atulo Sarainen, got married pretty quickly right after uh, the cup got done. How did that party compare to the cup party? So you guys just kept the action going. It feels like. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome to see one of my my best friends get married and. And be be a part of it, but uh, it got it got a little tight with the the time uh, since the season went so far. Uh, he actually missed missed his uh, bachelor uh, party, but I think he's pretty happy with the parade and the parties we had in Florida. So I don't I don't think he uh, minded that too much. But it was awesome to be a part of his wedding and. See, see all his friends and, and family celebrating. That was a special moment as well. Yeah, I think everyone would take the cup parade over most nights out uh, in the world. And I got to ask on that. It seems like starting with, you know, the cup and the parade, you, Mikola, Lusty, Barkey, maybe you're having more fun than anyone. Your bus looked really fun. And then obviously we heard your radio calls into the, the Finnish radio station and obviously all the cup days and parties since then. Barkov City was obviously huge. Just out of you four, who do you think's partied the most and celebrated the most this summer? Of the Finns or of the Finns? Huh. Who should I throw under bus? No, <laughs> I think uh, Nico. I, I will say Nico. He's uh, he's a big man. He he knows uh, knows how to party, and you know when he's so big, he. He doesn't get tired that fast. Well, and, and on that note, the next season's coming up pretty quickly here. And I know there are 31 other teams in the in the league who would love to be in that situation to have a short off season like you guys. How has it been different now getting ready for next season? Because you guys are playing a preseason game uh, in about a month here at this point. So it's going to come pretty quickly. How are you getting ready now for the, the 24, 25 season and the Stanley cup championship defense? Yeah. As you said, the summer has been pretty short, short, but you know, it's, it's, it's fun to, to celebrate and share moments, but at the same time, you, you kind of, at some point, uh, turn the page and start to think about the next season. Uh, we, I feel like we're hungrier than ever right now. We, we saw what it takes to win. Uh, we know we have a great team next season as well. So at that, that when that said, uh, I talked to a few guys and it's, we're, we're really, really excited to, to start a new season and want to repeat that for sure. Uh, so right now, just working, working really hard and practicing. So I will be in good shape for the next season and hopefully be able to do something big again. And Anton, you talk about getting ready for next season, practicing already. Uh, we see you on Instagram practicing with HIFK there in, in, back, back home in Finland. What was it like the first time you put the skates back on after winning the Stanley Cup? Did it feel different? Did kind of the magic come, come rushing back a little bit there? Hmm. Kind of, kind of. It was 
actually a little weird because all of our gear were was like soaked in champagne and beers and you know the after game seven like we still had part of our gears on us and I have to say it was uh, there was a lot lot of champagne floating on on the floor in the locker room so I was kind of worried about my my gear if it's gonna make make back for the for the summer of our next season but uh, it it felt so actually pretty good uh, I would have thought it would have felt uh, worse putting the skates on again but since we played so many games the past two seasons so we're kind of used to be playing and it's weird to not play well I want to ask you about something else you said too you mentioned that you guys are hungrier than ever it sounds maybe it might be kind of a basic question but you guys have won it you've seen it all now but how much does that continue to fuel you because you guys know that really as a team you're just you're just kind of coming into I guess this this peak time you guys are going to be good for a long time you have a lot of guys locked up who are going to be part of this group for a long time how has this experience you guys have had continue to make you guys just want it that much more they always say that when you win that first one it makes you want that next one even more yeah it's going to be it's gonna be a hard season for sure, you know. Everybody wants to to win the the Stanley Cup champion, and uh, we know it. But we're ready. We we kind of played in that situation last year too, making our Stanley Cup run to the finals. But uh, as you said, you know, we have the same players, uh, same coaching staff, so. It's not a lot different. We have some new guys, uh, r good new guys too. So excited for for a new team and and excited to get to work and see what we can do. Well, Anton, we thank you very much for uh, for stopping by here on Territory Talk. As always, we talked about it a little bit off the air. It's obviously great to catch up with you. We're in different places right now, so we're able to make the world that much smaller through uh, through tech here but uh you get into the national hockey league and start playing big games at a young age and play big games early but you've uh you made your mark here on the territory talk podcast at a young age and as always we thank you very much for stopping by when you break that record we'll make sure to uh to pass it along to you because i'm sure it's going to be right there at the top of your uh your hockey accomplishments for sure it's going to be next to my mini Stanley cup We'll make sure we uh, we'll get you a, a little territory talk uh, award of some kind. Anton, as always, we thank you very much for stopping by. Congratulations on what's been an awesome summer. And uh, I know we already can't wait to see you and your teammates back on the ice here. As I said, before too long here, about a month away from the preseason. So as always, we thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you, guys.